When do I ever fail to deliver? <laughs> and the moral of this story is never ever give up. Morning. 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 <laughs> right, we're just trying to figure out where's the next best place to go to because we're in like desert land now, aren't we? More than likely you're going to get somewhere that's going north to Oklahoma City and yeah. then from Oklahoma City, go it's a straight across on 40. Is yeah. there truck stops around here that go that way, do you know? I'm not really sure, but okay. there's, there's a truck stop just like a few miles down the interstate. One thing I've wanted to do on this trip is like hitchhike, but again, it's like, where do you stand? So there's kind of like chains of truck yeah. stops. So you'll see yeah. truckers, you know, okay, that cool. you'll have an opportunity to talk to. I mean, and worse comes to worse, hop a Greyhound to Amarillo and then see what happens from there. Yeah. And then obviously the other option is the freight train. They come through just like right down the road here. The best bet to get on a freight train is when they've stopped because there's only one track. One How engine. dangerous is it? Probably freight pretty dangerous. <laughs> a lot of them are like grain cars or liquid exactly. and you're not going to be able to hop on. Because that's the thing, you'd have to like hop on and Risk get the space in the cabin. It's a, it's a cool concept but... Yeah, yeah exactly. Cool. I think the best bet is to go down possibly the trucker route. Yeah. If there's a trucker going the whole way to Albuquerque, that would be like a golden ticket, right. wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, so let's go to IHOP, see the truck stop Okay, there, cool. And then figure and it out. Speak to them yeah. and see what's on. All right. Right, let's get going. So that is Texas that in is compared Texas. to Europe. Yeah, like when you did the Netherlands to Barcelona. That's like doing Texas on its own. Right. That's madness. <laughs> that is literally the size of about five countries. So we're just on our way to IHOP, did you say? Yep. And we're gonna go and check out the truck station because I'm just gonna see what the sort of situation is with the truckers. What do you think? Do you think I'm gonna get much luck with them? It doesn't hurt to ask and get some hints because obviously you're not looking <coughs> to get on a truck today. Mitchell in New Orleans said like some trucks owned by big corporates won't do it if they were independent trucks you've got more of a chance sort of thing so yeah we're gonna check out the truck stop just see what sort of luck i get today that might be an option for tomorrow but i've never actually been to ihop international house of pancakes is that what it is yeah that's what it stands for international house of pancakes i never knew that everybody raves about it everyone's like you've got must have gone to ihop but i've genuinely never been what about waffle house love waffle house <laughs> So the problem I'm getting now, literally, is that everywhere is so far, like it's so spaced out, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. From Albuquerque to here, just to give you some sort of like idea, it's 12 hours. How many miles was it? 620. 620. So that's like two thirds of the Europe trip in like, with nothing in between. There's towns and like, you know, mum and pop hotels. But, but there's no like big chains and stuff yeah. like that. I think this leg of the journey is gonna be the toughest, isn't it? It would be awesome to see if I could get like a truck from here though. Would the trucker go straight to Albuquerque? From here it's going to be headed north towards Chicago. Okay. If it gets through to Oklahoma City, yeah. then you get something that's on 40 and likely it's going through to LA yeah. and it would go along via Albuquerque. What are my chances do you think of getting a truck? Pretty good considering your backstory and yeah. what, what you're doing. Do you <laughs> want to check out the truck stop first or do you want to eat first? Um, I can't see much being too long in the truck stop, can no. I? This is quite daunting, there's a lot of trucks there. <laughs> Right, let's check it out. I don't know how I feel about this, just walking into a truck stop and speaking to loads of truckers. Where do you start? I'm trying to get to LA. Is there any way you can help? Do you drive a truck? Yes, sir. Well, I'm doing like this challenge across America for charity. Over the next couple of days, I'm going to be looking to like try and hitch a ride or something. But nobody won't give you. I'm no one's going to give no, me a ride. No, I don't give a ride to anybody. No. Would anybody else, do you think? Or? Uh, I don't think so. You don't Everybody think so? Everybody's trained, so yeah. they don't do that. Well, that was discouraging. <laughs> No one is going to give me a ride. So now I feel even more nervous about walking in a truck stop. You know what they say, the more no's you get, the closer you are to getting a yes. Yeah, this is more of a shot. I just assumed it would be like where they all sit and have right, a drink yeah, or somewhere. Yeah. We'll head back that way. We'll try and catch a few people in the parking lot. 
the gas station was literally like a shop so it wasn't as if they were all sitting around so it was quite hard to sort of like know if someone drove a truck and go up to them and have a chat so we're gonna head back and just see if we can see anybody on the way do you drive a truck at all yeah i don't do interviews no uh no it's not about interviews i was just saying i'm traveling across america for charity doing a challenge what are the chances of like hitching a ride with a trucker at all not with me yeah most of them they can't have riders ah okay no worries cheers thanks very much yeah that wasn't very successful either oh my god <laughs> i'm gonna ask this guy long story short i'm traveling across america for charity right with no money what are the chances of like hitching a ride with a trucker here a lot of them they won't let anybody ride in the truck like insurance reasons some of these guys they run teams and then he might be able to just trying to catch the right sort of person appreciate that dude thank you very much okay so the first stab at the truck stop wasn't very successful was it no. <laughs> one guy was a no chance one guy didn't want to get interviewed and the other guy wasn't too keen either we ain't giving up yet though but we're gonna grab some food now Look who we have got ringing. Hello? Hi mate, what are you up to? Mate, I am just in IHOP. I've just had the best breakfast yet. IHOP is amazing. Where are you now? Which area? I am currently in Fort Worth now. Nice, getting close to the destination. You'll mate, be there soon. It's the next leg of the journey though. Honestly, it's like just desert for miles. It is literally Amsterdam to Barcelona from here to the next town. That's amazing. Are you going to be back here? Are you going to use any other mode of transport? We've just been to a truck stop before IHOP. It wasn't looking good at all, I'm going to be honest. There's a freight train that goes through Fort Worth as well it, it would be sick mate but obviously like if they shut the carriages i'm not going to be hanging on for 12 hours am i <laughs> yeah exactly mate i'll be on the train all day i'm with susan and ethan at the minute so susan is the lady who got me the starbucks voucher that i used in washington oh, amazing being well looked after put it that way well uh, how's ethan what's his story uh, i'm a high school student and i've been watching simon's videos for a little while and uh it's nice to have him here he's a big f1 fan as well you got to come here and see Lewis Hamilton come to the Monica Grand Prix. Yeah, sneak it into Silverstone. Just a day's work for you guys. Mate, normally when you ring, there's always something up, so I'm curious why you're ringing. Well, I was thinking, I wanted you to treat uh, one of your subscribers quite a day, so I'm going to send you $100, and I want you to take out a subscriber for the day. Mate, you've timed this perfect, because it's actually Ethan's 18th birthday on Thursday, mate. No way. It is. Yep. I want you to take Ethan out and do something special for him. How am I going to um, get the $100? I've been looking into it. It's a little bit tricky. There's a company called Western Union. <laughs> I can actually send cash to you, but I just need to know your location. The closest one to us is at Kroger. That's a supermarket chain. I'll do that for the next five minutes. And okay. You guys can pick that $100 up and then treat your son and have a wicked day. May I really appreciate that. Right, thank, thank you. Thank you, Jason. How old are you turning? 18, mate. Oh, that's unbelievable. Mate, just... No strippers, all right? Just have a nice day. Sweet. Cheers, mate. What would you like to do with $100? I'm down for anything. Do you want to go do it for me? Yeah, we can do. If you want to use it for go-karting, yeah. definitely. In fact, when we pick it up, I'm going to give it to you, and you can direct the day. Thank you, Simon. Awesome. Don't thank me, mate. Thank you for the help. Because I would be sleeping in a desert if it wasn't yeah. for you two. <laughs> So go kart in there, man. Yeah. Let's get fun. that hundred dollars and go spend it. Yeah, IHOP was definitely a good shout. Ethan, are you looking forward to getting beat at go-karting, mate? Oh, I'm ready for you to, like, kick my butt. <laughs> Where is it in the US that is, like, known for, like, the whole wild, wild west thing? Um, west, western Texas through on to into New Mexico ah, okay. and, and Arizona. I remember watching them films on the horse, tying right. the horses yeah. outside. <laughs> so, slight change of plan. We are now going to the JFK Museum. I've always been interested in, like, where he got shot and stuff, so we're going to go and check it out. So it was this building here? Yep. Does it say which window? Yes, yep. in the museum they'll show you and I'll show you once we get down to the street. Do you see the X's right here in the road? The X? Yeah, right here. Oh, it's there, there's that's one, the X. And then there's another one right there. So what's that X for? The first the shot. First shot. And then there was the second yep. shot. So I don't know if you can see it, but literally it's like that top window, like 
there. When you watch like documentaries on it, it looks like so much like bigger, doesn't it? Like right. the open space. This is the grassy knoll up here. The theory is that it came from around behind the grassy knoll. The first shot is literally that X there. And then the second X is there. So we this can, second we... shot that actually killed him and shot him in the head, yeah. that's there, is it? So you can go out and stand So up. that's the second one. I don't know how it looks on the camera, but this is like really small, isn't it? I expected that to be like miles away. Right. But it's not, is it? Not at all. This is where you're standing in the motorcade route. President Kennedy was shot in the back and shot in the head. We put an X in the middle of the street for both of them. So he was shot in the back first, was he? Yes. When he was shot at the head, he was forced back. And that means the force is coming from the front, from behind the picket fence. So you're saying the fatal shot didn't actually come from the window, it came from that fence over there? That's right. Literally got shot through this fence. Yeah. It's a much easier shot. Yeah, well when you look at the the X on the road there, it's a clear shot really, isn't it? But it's interesting like how many feelings, it, it would just be amazing to find out what actually did yeah. happen, right. wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah, seeing as though we're here, I, I'm going to have to stand on that X, I think. So this is literally where JFK got shot. How mad is that? Honestly, this is some experience, this. Just to like give you some sort of perspective of this. So the second shot which killed him is there. And then the window that apparently the guy shot from is like there. I'm sorry if you're not really interested in JFK, but this is my history lesson for the day because I love this stuff. So we're gonna go and grab a drink and then we're gonna head to the museum, which is on the sixth floor where the guy apparently shot him from. Look at JFK with the water. <laughs> Yeah, so we're about to go into the JFK Museum now on the sixth floor. I don't think you're allowed to film in here, but we'll see. You could only take pictures on the seventh floor. Ah, okay, okay. so no pictures at no all. Pic okay, so you're not allowed to take photos, so I'm going to have to turn it off. Yeah. That was so interesting. So the plan now is to give Ethan a roasting at go kart <laughs> I think it's the other way around, mate. <laughs> Thank you so much for this, I really appreciate <laughs> it. And now we're driving over the spot. That was the first one, that's the second one, that's crazy. And so then they came up here. And they just here. flew down here. They took a right up there. Yep, and up into the highway to go north to the hospital. So we are going to the closest Western Union so we can pick up the $100 Jason sent, so we can pay for go-karting. Hopefully there'll be some left mate so we can get some food. We have just come to like the first convenience bank in Walmart. We're just gonna see if we can get it from here. And it's gonna be 101.14. Looks like we got an extra dollar 14 to play with. First time you've had money in your hands in a while. Yeah, you exactly. I know. <laughs> Here's 14 cents. So wait. And then one, hundred and one and fourteen cents. Here's your receipt of that. Dude, I will give you that. Thank you, sir. Spend it wisely. Sweet. Cheers, man. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Just to make sure I have the money, not here. Yeah, you got um, it, not me. As soon as we're just walking out of Walmart and there's a McDonald's, I'm gonna go and try my trick quickly. I just came in here and I ordered some food and I was missing a chicken sandwich. Yeah. Is that okay? Thank you. Cheers. Thanks very much. Thanks for your help. Thank you. Well, that wasn't too hard, was it? Do you want a bite to my chicken sandwich? No, That's no, how no. easy it is. You've seen I that. Know. You've witnessed this. That wasn't highly edited. <laughs> that, that wasn't edited at all. <laughs> That's, That's how easy it is. <laughs> to get a chicken sandwich in Fort Worth. You sure you don't want to bite? Mmm. <laughs> Always tastes better when it's free. Susan, you can be my witness for this. How long did it take me to get a free chicken sandwich? 15 seconds to ask for one and 45 seconds for it to be delivered. <laughs> it was inside a Walmart, so it wasn't like it was a regular location. It was uh, quiet, wasn't it? Location, yeah. Is the go-kart place close to you? Yeah, it's right down the road. Right, we've just found out that Ethan actually go karts in like Australia and everything. Yeah. Mate, you kept that one quiet. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go and have twice. a go kart thing, but I've been go karting on an international level. <laughs> right, here we go.
the moment of truth. These are your two, these are my two. What was your quickest lap? 16.06, what was mine? 16.4. Come on dude, do the honours, it's only fair. I never admit defeat, but what? you deserve that one. Thanks again, mate. Yeah, Thank man. you very much. That was so much fun, as if you beat me. How much money have you got left, mate? I think That's like seven dollars. Seven dollars. <laughs> That's definitely not enough for an in an out burger, though. So I am gonna try and ring in an out burger and get us both a meal. I haven't tried to get two people a full meal before. I think it's gonna be quite be risky. It's gonna be dodgy getting two. Getting one's not too bad, but saying they've forgotten two full meals. But if you don't try. You don't know, dear. Do so you just want a cheeseburger? Yeah. You sure you don't want a meal? No, I don't want a meal. Right, here we go. Thank you for calling in and out burger. This is Sabrina. Long story short, we've just ordered quite a lot of food from the store. They've forgotten a double double meal and a cheeseburger. Do you still have the receipt? Ooh, I'm not too sure. I don't think so. If I just go to the shop, will they need that, will they? Yeah, they're going to ask for the food or the receipt. Okay, no problem. Thank you very much. Bye. That ain't good. No. <laughs> that ain't good. But we ain't giving up there. If in and out doesn't work when we go there, we'll, we'll try Chick-fil-A. Chick yeah, try Chick-fil-A. Do you think Chick-fil-A will work? I think so. Right, let's give this a go. How are you? Just gone through the drive through missing a double double meal. Yeah, I need a receipt. You need a receipt, yeah. okay. Tell me two seconds. It's not good. She was like, have you got your receipt? And yeah, yeah. I was like, oh. In and out, what are you doing to me? <laughs> Do you know what? I'm just gonna go back and see I can't find my receipt and see what she says. I can't find the receipt. Okay, when did you order? Two double double meals and two cheeseburger meals. And how long ago was it? Like 20 minutes ago. What was your total? Not a clue how much it was. Give me a second. Hi, how okay, are you? cheers, thank you. Uh, yes, please, thank you very much. You're welcome. When do I ever fail to deliver? <laughs> Mate, happy birthday! And the moral of this story is never ever give up. Oh. I could have given up when I spoke to the woman, she said you needed a receipt. I could have given up when I come here and she said you needed a receipt. Persistence always wins. Yeah, persistence is like the number one factor into getting anything you want. We've just added in and out to the list as well. What's next? Need to do a Chick-fil-A before Chick-fil-A, definitely. And on that note, Susan's just popped in to get herself a burger, because obviously I couldn't get three of them. And we're going to head back to the house. Right, we're back. What, what was the in and out like? It was good. Free food's always a plus. 18 on Thursday. Tomorrow. Eight. So. Dude, that's... It's tomorrow. Thursday's tomorrow? Oh my god, 18 tomorrow. So when this comes out, you're gonna be 18. Yeah, it's my birthday present, my own vlog. Dude, that's sick! Right, obviously Britain was gonna pick him, but that just didn't happen. So, Ethan, do the honours, mate. Do I go on? Yeah, so go on Instagram, and there's 536 comments. Oh my god. You've got your work cut out. I want you to pick five people. Obviously, we've done it via Instagram, so these are going to be the Instagram names, not the YouTube names. So go for it, dude. All right, first one is Just Fiddler 38 Congrats, you're the first winner. The second one is Leah Sullivan. The third is Joel Hennessy. And then Reese Cahill. Cahill? Reese Cahill? Yeah. And then the last one is a username that goes by Becky How Are You. I don't know if anybody can see that, but they are the winners. Last but not least, who's won the t-shirt, who's won the hoodie, and which of the three were the hats? Hoodie, let's give it to Joel. Congrats, you got the hoodie. T-shirt. Becky, how are you? And then the hats go to Reese Cahill, Leah Sullivan, and Justin, Just Fiddler 38. If you guys wanna drop me a DM, I'll sort that and get them sent out to you. Dude, seeing as though it's your birthday, you can write the vlog off. What Do whatever I? you want. Good day today, hopefully tomorrow's even better. We're having a blast here in Texas. So, see you tomorrow, guys.